What's going on you guys? Appreciate you guys being back for another video. Uh, it's super cold out here today, a little bit windy, so hopefully the audio is okay. Got my daughter's super cool sunglasses on, which I support fully. Uh, they are gone and my sunglasses are in the car that they're in. And uh, if you guys don't believe me that she's super patriotic, here's a little clip of her at three years old, shooting on the range with a 22 rifle. Ready? Yep. But today what we're doing, uh, just gonna show you guys how I transport the coyote gear, uh, the rifle in my gear, the tripod, uh, the stuff that I use um, in my vehicle from stand to stand. I get that question quite a bit, you know, how I set things up, how the trucks laid out, just things like that. So we're not gonna take a lot of time today. And uh, we're just gonna go through how I kind of go stand to stand cut down time and make things uh, kind of efficient, keep things organized, and we're gonna get right into it right here. I'm gonna flip the camera around and we'll get right into it. All right, on a night of hunting, this is what I have. Got a truck, tripod, a rifle, a little gearbox with all the stuff that I need inside so I don't forget anything back home. Open my back door. I've got a molly panel right here, all this stuff. I will link down below so you guys can take a look. But what I've got is there I've got a molly panel, a knife up here, extra flashlight, first aid kit. Always have that with me no matter what I'm doing. A couple boxes of extra ammo down below. Got some Allen wrenches, uh, screwdrivers, duct tape. In here we've got some uh, bit drivers, various tools to keep ARs running. Uh, you can see back floorboard is pretty dirty been coyote hunting a little bit um, right here is one of the options to store my rifle when I'm hunting um, got the seat folded up you can use this uh, gun carrier device here slide the rifle in I'll show you guys that here in just a second as soon as we take it off the tripod um, use this whenever I'm running uh, more than just myself hunting. So, so a lot of times you guys know it's just me hunting, um, which I'll put my rifle down here and my tripod, and I'll show you guys that here in just a little bit. But anytime there's more than just me, uh, I like to get the rifle up off the floor, leave some room for these guys to put their stuff down below. Um, I know a lot of guys throw tripods in the back of the truck. I've got some buddies that I hunt with that I do the same thing, but this thing is pretty high and it gets to be a pain in the butt to kind of reach up over the top of the fender well and get in the back of the truck. So I run uh, most of my stuff right here in the back storage right behind the cab of the truck. Uh, what I'm going to do is just show you guys, I'm going to move the camera over here on the other side, kind of show you how I take the rifle off of the tripod and throw it into the back of the truck and just how I store things. So let's kind of get right into it. First thing I'm gonna show you, I'm gonna take this. I'm gonna set this on the ground. Two of the main things that are always with me while I'm hunting are on this side. So my call is always right here every time call sits right there chest pack is always on me so that side is completely gone um, i'm not going to go through this but this thing is super handy i carry more gear than normal people just because as you guys know i run the youtube channel so i've got to carry more stuff with me but if you guys want to see what all's in this thing this thing's pretty handy uh comment down below and I'll do a full review on what all is in that. But that is a handy little device that I always carry with me. That right there goes in the back of the truck every time. All right, I'm going to move the camera over and we'll show you how we store the gear inside the truck. All right, we come out of the field. Uh, the set's done and it's time to take the rifle off the tripod. Take the rifle. If I'm by myself, I just simply set it right there. That's all I do. Or I have another option to where sometimes I'll put it right here and we've got Velcro straps on this molly panel. 
Velcro around the hand guard and it stays right there, super secure. Uh, no concerns with it falling over. But what I do, if it's me and a couple buddies or me and a buddy, run that half to maybe three quarters of the way zipped. Take this, just simply slide that right in there. Butt stock hangs out just a tad bit. Tripod, same thing. It goes right there. Luckily this is big enough back seat, floor space. That can be fully extended. I don't have to mess with the legs, adjust anything at all. We're always ready to go. Call is always right here, like I mentioned earlier. And that's that, pretty simple. All right, I'm gonna show you guys that other view because I don't know if you could see this, but this is the upper strap, that Velcro strap right there. That goes right around the handguard and I've never had any concerns with that. Always stays super secure, uh, no concerns there. Calls there, tripod, runs long ways across the floorboard and rifle right here. If I'm by myself, what I'll do, I'm by myself it sits like this chest pack is on my chest with my monocular call is here tripod rifle good to go now I'm going to switch the camera here put it on the bed of the truck and show you guys real quick just how quickly we can get out of the truck and ready to go hunting so we're right here say we finished one set we parked and we're ready to get stuff out and get to the next set it's as quick and easy as this like i mentioned we're all about efficiency don't want to be staying around wasting time with the truck rifle out clamped on call and this is the way i walk in to every set all in this hand, rifle, ready to go. Get back from the set, tripod's out, call in the truck. Rifle in. And tripod in. And we're moving it's as quick and easy as that nothing too fancy like i say i'll make i'll uh, link this stuff down below you guys can take a look at it there if you guys want to see this yeti loadout go box uh comment down below might do a review on that in the future super handy keeps everything i need in place and uh that's it guys pretty self-efficient pretty simple but i uh, want to show that because i've been getting quite a few questions on the channel about how i load the gear in the truck to and from the field. So there it is. Happy hunting. Be safe. We'll see you on the next one. Bye.